Long before you reach the settlement, you notice that the jungle is unusually silent. The natives greet you warily, eyeing your saddlebags. Many of the townsfolk look diseased, their skin covered in spots that look suspiciously like smallpox to you. Uh-oh. <laughs> the chieftain is surprisingly difficult to locate. His wife fetches him from the depths of his home, which look marginally less dismal than the others. He's not an old man, but his back is bent, and his skin is gray and sickly. It hangs in dark folds beneath his eyes. The children of the sun have returned. You brought this deadly curse upon us, and now you come to finish the job. Eh, we didn't do that. Our valley has been cursed ever since your kind first set foot here. Our shaman believes this is a punishment by that name. Here. The goddess of death, and lady of the underworld. But our shaman is a silly old wench who ascends to gods what men have wrought. Yeah, well, you owe Tenochtitlan some food. He attempts to growl in anger, which he may once have been able to pull off to intimidating effect, but now it simply turns into a predictable coughing fit. Look around, white man. Do you see much food to take? Does our market overflow with tributes stolen from poor, famished Tenochtitlan? Yeah, but they need food, too. Well, I'm sure they do, but there are hundreds of thousands of people concentrated upon a tiny island. How will they feed themselves if not with the support of hard-working farmers for miles and miles around? They might have considered that before they left us to rot in our disease and famine. Well, uh, let's make it so everyone can eat. The food is hidden because we know Tenochtitlan would come for its dues, but we will starve without it. These are our last reserves, and we pray to all the gods that it will keep us from going through the damnable plague. Uh huh. Uh huh. See where they've hidden the food. Nope, they can't find anything. Well, fine, bring all the dudes. The gathered elders watch with increasing fear as the people round up the settlement's males in fighting age and gather them near you. We will kill them until you tell us where the food is. Seriously! Yes, seriously. Yep, yeah, yeah, go for it. Oh no! See, this seems like a net win. The aggressive and racist people are happy, and the peaceful people are like, meh! Uh-huh, uh-huh. Carlota didn't seem to want to do it, and then she killed him. The reaction to the assembled Aztecs is varied. Some cry out in anguish, and others break down in tears. How can you do this? Uh, not only that, we can keep doing it. Follow the path of the west into the wilderness. Uh-huh. Couldn't you have just told me from the beginning? Well, there you go. We forgive you for making us kill your people. Trade with the villagers. Yeah, I'm sure that'll go great. Uh, which is... They said west, right? Follow the path to the west, turn south of the cairn, and follow the ruins until you reach an arrangement of stones. So, this way. It's okay, they're not really people. They're video game characters. See, you thought I was going somewhere else with that, didn't you? It's because you're a terrible person. Shame on you. Doesn't care. Arrangement of stones. What was up with these guys? Oh, yeah, that was the lady. I don't know. I don't particularly care to look for it. Maybe I wasn't supposed to stay on the road. 
maybe I was supposed to go off road. That would make sense. I don't want to use the cannon on somebody. Oh. Oh yeah, he got bitten by that spider, didn't he? You silly bastard. That's the hidden food. Nice. We found it. I was about to say, I don't really feel like looking for this damn hidden food. Entire carts filled with food before the earthen cavity is empty. This might indeed have kept them going while sufficiently strict rationing, though you doubt it'll feed Tenochtitlan for even a day. <laughs> well, clearly they need it more then, don't they? I get to be a little good, I get to be a little bad. That's what neutrality is all about, kids. Hmm? I haven't even been treating him. Oh, yeah. I probably should, though, or else he'll die and everyone will feel bad. Okay, so remind me to heal him. Huh? Oh, yeah, I can trade with these guys. Except they suck, so... Moving along. Side, so we can find that warrior woman and murder her. Okay, where is he? Critically poisoned. Yeah, I guess I'll heal you. Whiny bastard. <laughs> I'm dying. Suck it up. Six hundred experience, we do another major. Yeah, let's go with it. Let's go with the sharpshooter thing.
palace? Not yet. Sacrifice a follower. <laughs> the royal guard informs me that you have brought three carts full of food. I take it they were agreeable in your dealings with them. A simple oversight on their part. They were happy to deliver once they were reminded. gift of gold is being prepared as we speak. It will be delivered to your people once we're done here. As you have shown both an interest in furthering our diplomatic relations and a willingness to aid us in matters where our interference is best left secret, another matter has come up that would benefit your attention. Uh -huh, your interpreter clearly struggles a little with idiom, and Beattle's puzzled facial expression indicates that the translation didn't quite hit the mark. Oh, I'm all ears. <laughs> Idioms. That was in an Archer episode, season three. That was good. Idioms don't work. Anyway. Yes, well, uh, as you may be aware, there is a nation called Flaxcala to the east. They have never been under our control despite our best efforts, but they are now surrounded by our empire on all sides. Oh, no, I haven't talked to them yet. Very good. The fact that they have managed to resist us for so long makes them important. It has come to my attention that a group of nobles from Tenochtitlan, acting at their own behest, have arranged a secret diplomatic meeting with them to negotiate terms of peace. You don't want peace? The Emperor desires nothing less than the subjugation of Tlaxcala and its full integration into the Aztec Empire. The nobles know this. We believe their plot calls for the assassination of the Emperor. I thought the Emperor was generally well liked. He is a great ruler who enjoys the love and respect of his people, but any great ruler has enemies. Well, what do we do? It would please the Emperor greatly if unknown forces acting alone quote, quote, were to show up at this secret meeting and, for example, kill everybody. According to my sources, they are meeting in the ruins of a Toltec temple to the east, on the edge of the swamplands. It would be best if nobody makes it out alive. After pointing out the approximate location, so is this a different place? Can I do both of these? Can I really do both of these missions? Ah. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Damn boy. Clandestine diplomacy. What? Active goal. Eh. Dicks. Okay, so let's head west then. Wait. Oh, it's an actual compass, and it means north is to my right, which means I'm facing west. God damn, how long... How did it take me that long to realize that? Warrior women to the west of Tenochtitlan. here somewhere by God. We'll find them eventually. Then we'll murder one of them for fun and profit. Oh. That looks like what I'm looking for. Hello, mon chéri. I am looking to find you. Lots more oil. That's good. What? You order your people to stop and listen to the sound repeat. Instead, seven women dressed in the typical outfit of Aztec warriors step out almost soundlessly. Uh, hi. Lay down your weapons or be destroyed. Uh -huh. Who is your leader? Oh, it's the Warch. Wow, she's pretty. We have merely come to explore. Yeah, totally. And we should very much like for you to lower our weapons. No. 
She frowns deeply. A few other women shift their weight anxiously. Then we have a problem. Ah. <laughs> what problem? Ha 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 ha. they ran away. Finally, we can use our cannon. Oh, wow. Scattered into the jungle, you say. Doesn't really look like it. Oh, you have to place the cannon in the preparation phase. Damn it. Yeah. That's disappointing. Uh oh, I didn't realize they could come around that way, did I? <laughs> oh, you silly bastard. It's raining on us. Oh. Poison you assholes got. Okay, you're really hurt, so let's heal you. God damn it. Why don't you shoot you repeatedly now? Oh my god. See, that's much better. She still misses too damn much, though. She's fairly reliable, though. Around the Bishi. Amazon. I don't know if you're a 
ranged or a fighter? Probably a ranged. Let's see if we can kick your ass. You're sneaking now. What? <laughs> oh, that's not good. Oh, God. Alright, oh, that's the main person, isn't it? feel like sucking. Oh no, we got this, we got this. Shoot her! Oh, damn. Good, good job. Good lord! When did you stop sucking? Totally okay with this. brought honor to Gutierrez by killing the, uh, the lady with the... Um, yeah. You search the dead woman and identify the one who must be Sitlali. Her outfit has the most decorations and her talisman matches the description. Um, and then we loot them. Because that is what we do. Compass. Compass. East. This way? Yeah, that's the right way. Okay, so we got wounded people. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're not wounded anymore. You're wounded, and you're wounded. And you can patrol, and everything else looks good. Other reward because we're awesome and rewards are for awesome people like us and let's see there's a reward um, I think I saw somewhere uh, I was reading a, a long thread on uh, 4chan about it but I think you can um, get her as a follower or marry her or something silly time to make more cannonballs no, Carlota, you're supposed to be doing guard. Where are my preachers at? There they are. You're supposed to be getting cannonballs. And you? Very good. Excellente. the talisman? Oh, only 500 bucks. I recognize this talisman. I'm certain she would not have given it to you willingly. <laughs> You've done us all a great service by killing her. As a token of my gratitude, I will have my servants bestow you some medicinal treasures and medicine and treasures. Uh, 
Ha ha. You'll always be welcome in the temples. Well, that's nice. Uh, trade. Well, that's a really good rate on equipment. They have fair prices now. Not diggity. Fixed. Uh, not you. The doll. Oh, I thought she lost an equipment. Doza lost a piece of armor. Ruiz lost a piece of armor. Runes is good. Let's get Alvarado his armor back. I don't think there's anyone else, really. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Tayana, how are you doing? You're doing just fine. But use Guillermo in forever. Yeah, he's only a man at arms, though. Eh. Upgrade his halberd. Anyway, I think I'm gonna call it for a night. Um, it's been a lot of expeditions. We got a lot of stuff done. Busy, busy, busy. And, uh, yeah. So busy, we should be wearing high heels. Anyway, um, tune in next time where we figure out how... Oh, so what we've got? We've got... This guy wants to rule the world. This guy does rule the world. We need to figure out how we play into this. Because we can support Tenochtitlan, obviously. Or it looks like we can support the outlying towns. Fortune and glory, Dr. Jones. That's what we're here for. We're not here to change the world. We're just here for the money. So, yeah. I think we'll just keep doing missions until something comes up, so... Yeah, I'll worry about it later. Until then, that's a that's a problem for future death, Evan. <laughs> Until then, have a good evening. <laughs>